good morning today we will have a discussion on the topic called expression for characteristic impedance of a transmission line in this topic the characteristic impedance is the input impedance of the infinite line z0 for an example if this is a transmission line this is sending end this is receiving end which is having a length l let this length is of infinite now not finite infinite when voltages and currents are propagating through this transmission line it has some characteristic impedance now the top the task of this topic is to determine what is the characteristic impedance of this transmission line now from the transmission line line equation concept we know this equation this equation is derived or taken with reference from the transmission line line equation where minus dv by dx is equal to r plus j omega l into i so the differentiation of voltage in terms of current this is the basic equation we have taken from the reference of transmission line equation concept see the ratio of the voltage applied to the current the ratio of the voltage applied to the current flowing will give the input impedance of an infinite line this input impedance is known as characteristic impedance of the transmission line and it is denoted by z0 that's the definition according to the definition it is the ratio of voltage and current no therefore z0 characteristic impedance z0 is equal to voltage at sending end vsi divided by current at sending end isi vsi and isi are sending end voltages and currents for an infinite transmission line we know that now let us take for an infinite transmission line for that infinite transmission line again from the concept of uh, transmission line line equation we have taken this v and i equations references so v is equal to vsi e power minus px similarly i is equal to isi e power minus px again i am reminding you that these two equations are basic equations are taken from the transmission line line equation concept let minus dv by dx is equal to let we have we are considering as we know that here in the first concept we said minus dv by dx is equal to r plus j omega l into i with reference to that we are considering that minus dv by dx is equal to r plus j omega l into i therefore similarly minus d by dx of substituting the value of v vsi e power minus px is equal to r plus j omega l into i isi into e power minus px now on solving this equation to determine the value of vs vsi divided by isi vsi divided by isi is equal to r plus j omega l whole divided by p where p is propagation constant but we know that v by i is equal to z the ratio of voltage to current is equal to impedance z so characteristic impedance z not is equal to vsi divided by isi that is equal to r plus j omega l divided by p this concept will appear here so substituting the value of p we already know the value of p and substituting that value of p in the characteristic equation z not is equal to vsi divided by isi where vsi divided by isi becomes now from this concept vsi by isi becomes r plus j omega l r plus j omega l divided by p then what is p it is the product of propagation constant it is the product of z and y where z is impedance and y is admittance where the value of z is equal to r plus j omega l and the value of y is equal to g plus j omega c so square root of r plus j omega l into square root of g plus j omega c from this this equation z not becomes square root of r plus j omega l divided by g plus j omega c therefore the characteristic impedance z not is equal to square root of r plus j omega l divided by g plus j omega c 
into ohms so the characteristic impedance of a uniform transmission line is defined as the steady state vector therefore the ratio of the voltage to the current at the input of infinite line where at the input of the infinite line in other words it can be defined as the impedance looking into an infinite length of line and also it is termed as surge impedance it is also called as surge impedance z not does not involve the length of the line or the character of the terminating load but it is determined only by the characteristic impedance of the line per unit length so over a unit length only it is going to be considered therefore the value of impedance for two types of basic transmission lines are taken as example here first one is for open wire line where characteristic impedance is z not is equal to 220 276 log base 10 of s by r where s is spacing between two wires center to center r is radius of the wire similarly for coaxial cable z not is equal to 138 log base 10 d divided by d where capital d is inner diameter of the outer conductor small d is the diameter of the inner conductor so these are the two formulae that are required to analyze the characteristic impedances of a transmission line thank you